Welcome to JTV News. I'm Inua Soman. Thank you for joining us. Coming up in this newscast, the number of reported child sexual abuse cases in the Virgin Islands continues to rise over the past two years. The national health insurance is closer to reality as the House passes the legislation to provide universal health care in the Virgin Islands. Premier Smith launches his chairmanship of the Overseas Countries and Territories Association in Brussels. National Risk Assessment Council affirms government's commitment to effectively combat money laundering and terrorist financing. After a lengthy closure, Bobby Supermarket reopened its doors to the public on Saturday, April 12th. And Virgin Guarda Recreation Grounds Mural Project is a celebration of the island's history and culture. In Medical Edge Health Report, we all have experienced nausea one time or the other, but imagine having to deal with the feeling of nausea 24-7. Unfortunately, that's reality for many diabetics whose stomachs don't empty normally. But a new clinical trial offers hope. We'll take you to the lab to see how research are reaching people who need it. When we come back, Minister Skelton calls on the Virgin Islands community to speak out against child sexual abuse. And legislators debate the legislation that set out the framework for the introduction of national health insurance for all residents in the Virgin Islands. 